Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the show! So, uh, getting back into more Forza today, I did a little five-minute paint job like I always do to each one of the cars that I use. I'll give them, like, a little five-minute paint job. I just put a little Porsche symbol on the back, uh, put Porsche in the license plate area. I blacked out part of the back bumper so you can't see it, so it looks like it's a little bit, uh more uh, streamlined than it actually is. I also blacked out the mesh in the front grille so you can see that now it just looks like it has a wide open mouth instead of a grill there. What else did I do? Oh yeah, and I did a little uh, a little fake fake tail light on the back. <coughs> I like doing uh, fake tail lights, fake headlights and stuff like custom tail lights, custom headlights. Wait till I show you some of my cars from Forza 4, man. You guys are going to be like, holy crap. <coughs> I was a very good uh, painter in that game. Very good. I used to spend weeks on, like, a single paint job until it, I felt as if it was absolutely perfect. Okay. So, we get a VIS Racing MR2 Turbo T-Bar. Quite the name. <coughs> oh, Nurburg, you guys. I totally forgot about the Berg. Nurburg is, of course, my favorite racetrack on the entire planet. I absolutely adore the Nurburg Ring. If you can drive around the Nurburg Ring, then you can play this game. It's as easy as that. <coughs> if you can't make it around a lap in the Nur on Nurburg, in, like in Forza, if you can't make it around, you probably shouldn't be playing this game, or you need somebody to help you to refine your skills and stuff like that, because this track takes literally everything that you've ever learned from racing and makes you have to do it. Alright. <clears throat> so here we are, beaming in our little whoop up a Porsche Boxster. This car actually has quite a bit of races to do. It has like five or six races to do. So it is probably going to get pretty heavily upgraded. Problem is, I can't put a body kit or a spoiler or anything on it, which totally sucks. <coughs> so that means that basically when I upgrade the living crap out of this car, it's going to be kind of difficult to drive. Because it's not going to have any body parts or anything uh, helping it out in terms of aerodynamics. Whoa. Doing pretty good so far. <coughs> hey, you know what I realized? This is actually the first car so far that I've actually, like, purchased. Every other car that I've used so far is one that the game just gives you. Like, one that you just win. thing I like about Nurburg too. Whoa, 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 whoa. One thing I like about Nurburg too is that it's uh, it's always different in every game that you play. This track like literally changes so much from game to game. <coughs> oh god. I remember uh, I think it was Gran Turismo 4. The the track on the this track on Gran Turismo 4 is like so freaking skinny. Like the whole track is like six feet wide in that game. It's like almost impossible to pass somebody. Here we go. So these are the little individual sections of the Nurburg ring. So this is section D. <coughs> this is the end of the track if anybody's wondering uh, where, like what part of Nurburg this little section is. This is the end of the track. Ba -ba -da 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 -do 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 -do. So we get to go around the second carousel. I'm not sure if we're far back enough to go around the first carousel. I don't think we are, but I know the. Obviously, we're going to be going around the second carousel because it's right at the end of the track. <coughs> carousel and 
Forza do not mix very well, I'll say that. Carousel and Gran Turismo mix really well. Uh, Gran Turismo, I find, did a really good job on the uh, carousel. But uh, Forza does not like the carousel very much. I find the, uh, the carousel in Forza is where you go to uh, kill your car. bump right here. Ja bump mm, Boom. <laughs> it's like, sorry, Bessie. And then you can just go full throttle. Full throttle. Full throttle. Full throttle. <laughs> this section here has always been my favorite section of Nurburg. Because you can actually go legit all out, no matter what car you're in. It seems like you gotta slow down for those couple turns back there, but you actually do not. <coughs> you can go through there in pretty much any car at full throttle. Good old carousel, here we are, Forza. Oh, it actually didn't, uh, didn't beat the hell out of me. Of course, the final super long right sweeper onto the friggin' longest straightaway known to mankind. <laughs> like, holy shit. <clears throat> Look at that road. I love seeing it from all the way back here, because you're like, well then, you know? Like, the longest road ever. <laughs> this thing has six gears. Yep. I wonder if it'll climb in six. Yeah. Decently enough. <coughs> okay. Killing it in this Porsche Boxster. And I like how this thing has a lot of different races to do, man. This thing is going to be a moneymaker. The VIS Racing MR2 Turbo T-Bar. Look at those friggin' roof scoops, man. What? Two roof scoops? That's sick. Side mounted? Oh. <coughs> That's very nice. Alright. Oh yeah, we are cutting through this game now, you guys. So now we can do the European race here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Let's go spend a little bit of money. Uh, <coughs> oh yeah, we can't do anything in there. Anything of note. Do we get big gigantic tires from this? Eh, we sort of do. 285s. Nice and wide. This car needs more power, I find. Thirty-one. How much is that? Ah, man. I'd really like to get that, but looks like we'll just be going with the muffler. Let's go ahead and get suspension and hopefully brakes. Yes. Suspension and brakes, and we got our muffler. <coughs> Le muffler. So now she's gonna be a little bit stronger. Let's go and do this. European race, Maple Valley short, Silverstone short, and Alpine short. Caramel coffee that I got this morning at the gas station. 
<coughs> so we got an Audi TT, Volkswagen Golf R32, Saab 93, Posa 206, Beetle, Jetta, Cooper. <laughs> In other words, we are going to demolish them. This is technically still one of the, like, you know, first races in the game, so... Yeah, we are going to demolish them. <coughs> Actually, uh, this car finishing up all of its races marks the moment where you step into, uh, where the game actually starts to get kind of difficult. And you actually have to, like, maybe go back and do a race over again and stuff, and the opponents can actually keep up with you. <laughs> Because the, the first, like, 15 events in the game or so, you know, you're supposed to be using, like, a, a stock car. It's basically orchestrated so that you can use, uh, so that you can use, like, the starting vehicles in order to win. Because, I mean, how else would you make it anywhere in this game if the first races <laughs> were indefeatable by the slowest cars in the game, right? So... Sounds nice, man. Now listen to that. Woo! Slides quite a bit because it doesn't have a body kit or a spoiler or anything like that to help it chop through the air. <coughs> I'm sure that uh, the uh, racing tires will probably be the smartest upgrade for this car. I because uh, oh, it's gonna have a lot of horsepower. I know that. It'll have a decent amount of power, <coughs> but what it will be lacking is handling, so tires are probably going to be my next choice, next purchase. Any real car enthusiast knows that uh, tires are actually the most important upgrade on a vehicle, hands down. No matter, I don't care what you do to your car, tires are the most important upgrade you can add to your vehicle. Literally every single attribute of any vehicle, depending on how good, how nice your tires are, how good your tires are. If you, you know what I mean, you could throw racing slick tires on, uh, you know, a normal everyday car and take it out on the street and you'll be trashing people. <laughs> tires are the only thing that touch the ground. People have to remember that. That's a nice... A nice little phrase to remember for any car enthusiast, man. The only thing touching the ground on your whole entire car is the tires. <clears throat> you could have a thousand horsepower, but if you have really crappy tires, it's going to feel like you only have five or six hundred horsepower. Because your tires won't be gripping, they'll be... I mean, sure, if you like doing burnouts, <laughs> go ahead and toss a thousand horsepower into your car. But yeah, the smartest thing you can do for a high-powered car is to add some nice tires, man, for sure. Nice, uh, Pirelli P0 Rossos or something. <laughs> and yes, once again, if anybody's wondering, um, we are playing... Oh, that's not good. Oh. We are playing on simulation, simulation damage and stuff, so, oh man, how did that not do any damage to me, like, at all? Anyways, we're playing on simulation damage, <laughs> surprisingly enough, uh, in manual with, uh, no, no stability control. <coughs> yes, I have my traction on, excuse me, sir. I have my traction on, and I have my anti-lock brakes on, but I do not have stability on. I don't like stability very much. I find it, uh, it kind of like, uh, steals all of your ability out of your car. It doesn't let you turn as sharp as you would normally want to. It doesn't let you change directions quickly. It makes strange things happen when you're going around corners and stuff. It, like, kills your RPM when you're going around a corner as well. Yeah, stability control is not very nice. <laughs> It'll stop you from going sideways and stuff like that, that's for sure, but, you know, I, uh, I know how to keep my car going relatively straight. <laughs> And if 
anybody's wondering what happened uh, on the first turn there, I simply overstated <coughs> the amount of acceleration that I needed to turn inward on the corner. Went past uh, went past the car's uh, halfway of gravity point, and once you do that, you're just kind of at the mercy of centrifugal. At, at the mercy of centrifugal force and uh, momentum, I guess. So yes, I was holding my wheel all the way to the left and peppering the gas to try to get it to come back under control. I then did a downshift, causing it to uh, increase RPM dramatically, giving me a little bit of traction. I then tapped on the brakes a couple times to bring all the weight of the vehicle forward, causing me to have a buttload of handling and recover from the turn. <clears throat> very intricate way of describing how to recover from heavy oversteer, but that is how it is done. It's a multitude of different things that get you um, basically reversing the flow of your centrifugal force that is tossing you sideways. Once you've played as, much, as many racing games as I have, you really begin to understand how to actually drive a vehicle and um, properly... Um, how do I say it? Um, properly administer the proper amount of turning ratio to brake or gas amount. <coughs> you know, it's like there's a fine line between. Obviously, there's a fine line between how hard you turn your car and you know how fast you're going, what you're doing at the time when you turn, if you're braking, if you're accelerating, or if you're you know just idle. There's a lot going on in racing games that. Uh, you know, people don't really necessarily see on the outside, but there is quite a bit going on in uh, in the normal everyday racing game. <coughs> this car kind of, it has a lot of understeer when you're going around a long corner, but then when you try to correct it, it's like oversteer city. <laughs> the diff will help out as well because that'll help uh, um, basically... Um, how do I say, uh, distribute the uh, power evenly throughout the uh, power band of the car. So I won't be, uh, I won't be doing that as much, sliding like that when I'm trying to accelerate forward. Uh, oof, did you hear that? Scrapey scrape. Oh, that caused me to lose control big time. Oof. Oof, that's what I like about this, uh, that's what I like about Forza though. Um, is that, you know, <clears throat> it's not always such a simple drive, and you, you might get so far ahead and stuff like that, but then crazy stuff still does happen. Oh, that was dirty. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. I actually really like Porsche uh, in real life. Um, there's actually a Porsche dealership right up the street from my house. Um, and you bet that they have, uh, some of the more serious Porsches in there. They got a 9, uh, uh they got a 9, uh, what is it, 917 or 918? <coughs> 918 Spider. They had a, uh, Carrera GT in there not too long ago as well, a black one. I actually have a, uh, video on my phone of, uh, they had a 9, uh, I think it's a 918, I can't remember, sorry guys. They had a 918, I think it's a 918 Spider, and then uh, a Porsche Carrera GT right beside each other, and both of them were silver. <clears throat> so I went inside and I, uh, I asked him if it was alright if I make a little video and walk around. He says, uh, the guy goes, oh, oh, oh. He goes, as long as you don't touch them or uh, do anything to them. <laughs> I looked at the guy like, are you freaking crazy? You think I want to do something to one of these beautiful machines? Like, dude. <laughs> nice cars to me are like beautiful women almost, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna be as nice as I possibly can be. <laughs> Oof, scraped it again. I think we're just scraping our bumper. I know the Porsche, uh, Porsche Boxster has a nice big bottom lip. And I think that's what's happening. <clears throat> Never know. Oh, an 8086. No way, we can make Takumi's car, yo, from Initial D. I'll have to Google the, um, we'll make this our D-Class car or something like that, and I'll go Google the, uh, 
the graphic that's on the side of his car, the Fujiwara Tofu Shop in Japanese, and I'll put it on the car, and we'll drive, uh, <clears throat> we'll drive Takami's 8.6 in this game. I'll, I'll definitely have to do that for any Initial D fans, of course. Yes, I absolutely love Initial D. That's one of my favorite animes. I think I mentioned it before that uh, I absolutely love anime. Like, I really love it. I think I've seen pretty much every anime on Netflix that exists. <laughs> hmm. My favorite anime of all time? Um, hmm. That's a hard decision. <clears throat> I would probably say... Oof, man, that is a really hard decision. I would probably say, uh... Huh. Sword Art, I guess. I would probably put Sword Art right up there with the best of them. Sword Art Online. Um, so we got $14,000. Let's put a little bit of uh, stuff into the car. But yeah, man, I love me some anime. I like, uh... Attack on Titan was fantastic as well. That was awesome. Just gotta get past having to read the subtitles. Although, um... I mean, if you've watched as much anime as I have, you can pretty much understand Japanese. I can sort of understand Japanese, like, most of it. The easy stuff, when they start, like, yelling at each other and stuff really fast, I'm lost, but... <coughs> uh, yeah. We're not gonna do that last un engine up upgrade just yet. We're definitely gonna do our tires. There we go. I don't think we can get anything with 1500. So... So we got ourselves our racing tires now in a Porsche Boxster with 326 horsepower. Right on, you guys. Awesome. So I want to thank you guys once again for coming out and watching this episode of Forza with me today. Um, <laughs> do me a favor and click the like button if you could. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you guys couldn't see, I, I really need subscribers, you guys. Please help me out. Uh, you know, the three, the three seconds it takes to subscribe to the channel will literally make my day. So take credit into knowing that you will literally make my day by hitting that subscribe button. Like, I will freak out when I wake up and I see new subscriber. Uh, man, I start yelling at my dog, I'm like, Sophia, look, look! <laughs> Showing her my phone and my laptop and everything, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, guys, help me out, man. I, it would be much appreciated. Thank you so much once again for watching, and I hope you guys, of course, have a freaking awesome rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the very next episode. Bye-bye!